How's everybody feeling today? Good. 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 What the f Awesome! The tell-all is here, and it's a whopping four parts. And in this very first part, we start with 72 hours before tell-all day with Angela getting ready. There is a reason that I've never made a video about Angela, and it's because I cannot tolerate her long enough to make one. Even just watching this little segment about her getting ready is hard for me. The most anxious thing I am is to see Usman, because this started with him when Michael went and met him, and all this Instagram started and all this other started. Yep, that's enough for me. I already need a break. And then we go to Ed, and he has the most surprising news. So Liz and I, um, well, I go, broke up with Liz again. How many times is that now? I've lost count. I asked her to move out, so she moved out. This time is extra special, though, because he supposedly kicked her out and they haven't lived together for three months. For a split second, I thought that that meant that they were finally done. I got dumped by Ed again. Ed pretty much told me I had less than a week to find a place to live. But not even getting kicked out can keep Liz away. We've been seeing each other. What? Even though she showed up at her friend's house with a bag of clothes and couch surfed until she found a place, she of course is still talking to Ed. Our agreement is I will see you every other night, even if it's just like me coming over and sleeping next to you, that's it. I don't know if we're engaged. I don't know if I don't know. It seems like Ed is now actively trying to get rid of Liz, but she keeps coming back. This is her third tell-all, and she still has no idea what's going on with her and the Musinex man. As we count down the hours to the tell-all, we get to see the cast interact, which I actually thought was kind of cool. It seemed like Jovi and Andre were getting along, but it didn't last. Do you ever think that maybe you're the problem? Do I look like a problem? Do I see fear in those eyes, Jovi? Take him now. That pair didn't get along, but Jenny and Kimberly are friends, and Yara and Shida seem to enjoy talking crap about Bilal together. We end the night with Angela thinking everyone wants her. Who paid this guy to say that? Oh, oh yep, nope, that's enough. I already need another break from her. Tell All Day finally arrives, and Ed is chugging Pepto-Bismol. I may need some Pepto, too, if I have to see Angela twerk again. That's better than Malbec. The rest of the cast starts to arrive, including Liz, who looks great getting distance from Ed. But she won't be getting that distance today. Ed already seems giddy that he has other toxic people to get along with on this tell-all. Mala, I'm here to stick up for him. Oh, Why? absolutely. I was actually thinking the opposite. I'm kind of concerned, like, um... Why would you be concerned? She's a gold digger. And he gets both Bilal and Angela. I'm at the tell-all for one simple reason. I'm here to clear my name. She seems drunk still and late. And I actually like that they kept her away from the green room. That way we can focus on Andre calling out Jovi for asking him to go to a strip club. They've never been to a strip club. You want to go to one tonight? No, I'm not going tonight. Why I'm not talking about it. He also calls Yara a gold digger. So Andre is just trying to start problems in general. Numbers don't lie. One in three couples are a scam. The who is a scammer argument is interrupted by the cast getting called on set. And Angela is let in by a whole other entrance. It's like she's a velociraptor that they only let out for a few minutes at a time. Hi, Angela. Hi, Sean. Good How to are see you? you again? She comes out in her slippers and starts yelling almost immediately. Hey, Liz. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You bitch. You're all talking no action. Let me tell you she had only been let out for like five seconds. Angela. Angela, sit, sit. Angela, on. chill down and respect us, please. Yara, shut up. You have no. You don't, you don't I know don't what give I a Well, she's getting out of hand already. Time to take her away. Move. Okay, Angela's leaving already. I like how there are six people escorting her out to have a cigarette. That was one for the books. I have never seen that happen before. First of all, where did that come from? I don't even care where it came from because she's gone. Angela thought that you were scamming Kimberly. Angela is the worst thing that have ever happened to Nigeria. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't know why he's laughing. He's no prize. And Ed tries really hard on this tell-all to make it look like their toxic mess of a relationship is doing well. We're still together. 
We're engaged, but we're um, not living together. Yeah. And you slept in different hotel rooms last night. Oh, oh. But he can't hide how bad this really is. I will give it one last try, but I will see you every other night, and that's it. Liz was kicked out twice, even though in one of the last episodes, they were supposedly house hunting. I did not kick her out. And what do you say, Liz? At one point, he actually had his friend help pack all my stuff to move out. No. As much as Ed sucks, though, the sympathy for Liz has dried up. Ed kicked you out, got packed your stuff up, and you didn't have a place to go? Ed has made her miserable on what, three show seasons now? Wait, I, I told him when we got back together, I wasn't giving up. And this time she actually got kicked out of the house, but she keeps coming back. By us being separated, I've never felt more secure in our relationship since I've met her. Oh, so what's next? They both date other people and stay engaged? Good Lord. I will never live with him again until just... it's us picking a place together and deciding on it together. I will Which never will move back in. have two separate bedrooms. So they're the happiest when they are apart and can't stop arguing when they are together. You've always been in toxic, sick relationships. So that must mean that Ed knows he's toxic waste. And Bilal is just over here enjoying the fact that he's not the worst villain this season. Always pointing the finger, but there's three pointing right back at you. It, exactly. A lot of times we don't look at ourselves internally. We don't look at we ourselves. We gotta look at ourselves and say, what, a, what am I not doing right? Big Ed the Bee wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you don't. He will fly into your house and body shame you. It makes no sense to go to the gym and then go to 7-Eleven and eat nachos. We move on to Ed and Liz's photography session scene. Um, it's a lot easier when um, your subject's beautiful. This scene almost feels like it happened a lifetime ago. This was a long season. I think it's possible that Ed does like photography because he does get to flirt with women. It looks like she has no neck. <laughs> they also show the engagement party scene where Ed accuses Liz of cheating on him with a woman. Until I know everything I need to know about you, we, I can't marry you. Leave the ring and pack your stuff and move out. You're not ready to get married. I'm glad that they showed him being a complete dick, so it's harder for him now to play the victim. You listen with two ears and you don't talk. The first thing you, you need to do is learn how to respect your fiance. And the more he's exposed as the asshole he really is, the more he shows his true colors. That right there is bull****. I mean, it's major insecurities over here. Do you feel hearing. that he is jealous? Of course. I'm not so sure how real this next part is, but they really put him on blast when they talk about Ed talking to other women. Have you spoken to your ex-fiance, Rose? I may have. I don't, I don't remember. How are you not? It's a yes or no. I don't know. I don't know if I was or not. They bring Rose on, and even if Ed tried to talk to her, Rose is way too good for Ed. So I seriously doubt that this was mutually romantic. Liz, is this the first time that you are meeting yeah. Rose? And you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You're too. <laughs> I will never understand how Ed pulled these beautiful women. Never. Has Ed messaged you or spoken to you the last couple months? Yeah. Oh, you're screwed now. There was a preview that aired on Entertainment Tonight showing the message that Ed sent to Rose. And here's what it says. So this was dated in 2021, over a year ago. They made it sound like there was a recent interaction and there's no proof of that. But on the next episode, we do get to see what Rose has to say about it. And I am disappointed to say that it looks like Angela also returns. Ugh. Well, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but we recently noticed that Michael is back on Instagram. No, he's not. Yes. No, you're no. not. And Andre and Jovi continue to argue. Wow, that is a big height difference. No wonder Jovi looks a little scared. We will have to see how the next part of the tell-all plays out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!